bit of a historic uh, night tonight, you know, uh, for, for St George uh, Illawarra Dragons, uh, winning here for the first time in uh, 25 years. Um, how important uh, is that in the context of the club? Oh, it's really important. Um, you know, his, creating history, you know, the really important year for the Dragons, the, uh, 25 years. So, you know, to come down here and we knew we'd have to play well. Um, but, yeah, really pleased for not just the 17, the team, all our fans and, you know, the club, the ex-players and so on. So, yeah, it's a great good night. It's also twofold. It's so important uh, in the context of the season, isn't it? Um, you know, you go 10 and 9 and now you're back in the mix again. Yeah, really important, especially you know, at the back end of the year. You know, a lot of people wouldn't have given us too much chance to beat Storm at, down here in Melbourne. So to get those two points, um, you know, I think we've got you know, only one game away on the run home. So whilst that's not, you know, you know, not a guarantee to get the two points, it gives us a great opportunity on the way home to cement our spot in the eight or stay in the eight or get in the eight. So the ball's in our court. What does it do for the team's um, you know, belief? Uh, going forward, you know, obviously your confidence would have been knocked last week against uh, Penrith. Um, to, to come into Melbourne and uh, beat the top of the ladder team uh, must be great for the for the belief. And I suppose question for both both of you. Yeah, well, for me, it's um, definitely uh, you know shot in the arm for our belief. Um, you know, we were disappointed about our performance last week, and uh, you know that's the sort of performance this team can do. It's just a matter of being consistent with it, and. You know, the more we do it in tough, difficult circumstances, coming to Melbourne, playing Melbourne in form, you know, fighting our way uh, to a two-point lead. You know, it was basically two points in the whole second half. You know, we scored, they scored, and it was a two-point game for most of it. So not to panic and you know get our defensive systems right and go with the storm for basically the whole second half. I thought it was uh, you know a good sign of confidence with within the group. Yeah, well, it definitely gives me a lot of belief. Um, you know, I hope. You know, some of our younger guys in the squad can take some belief out of it too. Um, it's been a long time since we've had some success, you know, and a lot of those guys don't know what it looks like to, to win tight games like that. And you know, I hope they can take a lot out of that and you know, move forward and you know, push for the finals and, and use that belief to, to play like that again. Ben, two tries this out there. How are you feeling out there? Yeah, I'm oh, feeling pretty good. Um, you know, it's always enjoyable when you come up against those good sides and you get that feeling early on that your team's on and you can compete with them and you know you just go out and enjoy your footy. Um, you had a pretty simple focus tonight was to defend well and to kick well and you know the rest will come after that and so um, you're not overly excited about the um, you know the try assist. Yeah you, you like them but they weren't the things that I was happy with tonight. There seemed to be a lot of joy on that right flank. Was that something that you spoke about before the game? Uh, no, not, not necessarily just our right side. Uh, we wanted to, you know, move the ball a, a bit, you know, both sides. And I, I thought we did that really well. Our left side were exceptional tonight, I thought, and you know, got a lot of metres for us out of trouble. And um, you know, I think it's probably you know, close to Jaden Sewer's best game for us this year. He was exceptional, not just his tries, but you know, some tough carries and he defended well. And um, you know, it was, you know, it was exciting to see. Shane Terrell Sloan, his performance today after obviously missing out last week. What did you make of? his performance and does it kind of, I guess, send a message for the rest of the season from him? Yeah, it's a tricky one. Um, yeah, I thought he had moments tonight, um, some really good moments and, you know, some moments that we'd like to tidy up. Um, there's never ever been a question mark about Tyrell's um, talent, uh, especially with, on, with the football. So we just need to make sure that he's focused on the other side of the game and, and that goes for the team as well, you know. The team need to be good around him. And I think they were tonight. So, um, yeah, it's good to see him back, as I said, because he's a dangerous player and, you know, keeps the opposition t on their toes and you need that. Tonight's performance from him would suggest that he's taken on board everything you've, uh, you've you know, told him and, uh, and the reason why he was sent back? Oh, he's a good kid, look. No, without a doubt, he's... Uh, uh, understands football and what he's got to do, um, and he understands it. It's just got to, it's, it's a little bit harder to do sometimes, you know, to go out there and make tackles and you know put yourself in front of Nelson Asafamona running hard and different type of things that come up in a game. So <clears throat> he, he did a good job tonight, and there's a challenge. It's on every week. And can you just start uh, talk about um, you know Jaden's uh, performance? It was quite incredible. Jacob Little. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, Jaden Jaden Sewer. Jaden Sewer, yeah. yeah. Um, Jacob Little did a good job for us as well. Um, 80 minutes in the middle, a lot of tackles, um, good service out of dummy half. Um, with Jaden, uh, 
he, he just tried so hard tonight and run hard and you know, made his tackles and that's a Jaden Silva, you know, that got him in origin, that sort of form got him at the start of the season, got him into origin and, um, you know, he fought so hard and worked so hard in the off-season to get his body right and then started the season off really well and, you know, it's, it's hard in the NRL to maintain form for, you know, six months, eight months, so he, you know, fell, went backwards a little bit, he'd, he'd be the first to say that, but it's good to see him back in form tonight, you know, and in a really crucial time for us going in the back end of the season. You touched a bit on Little's uh, performance, but also Tom Eisenhuth was uh, outstanding against his former club. Yeah, it's just so so professional, um, gets his job done, and um, you know, Ben can talk about how you know the players just love playing with him. Next week, obviously, now becomes super, super important against the Bulldogs. Um, can you talk to a little bit about what you'll learn from today as we head into next week? Oh, what we learn is that we can you know, beat anyone in the competition if we get ourselves right. You know, that's the key for us is concentrating on us. Um, you know, we a few weeks we haven't got ourselves right, um, and no matter what opposition we play against, we we wouldn't have won. And today we got ourselves right, uh, and you know we showed we can beat. You know, probably you know number one or number two in the competition. Um, so we just got to get ourselves right next week. Thank you. Thank you.